Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to look in on the DIY stack bin and see what it's been doing. So you can see there's a little hollow spot here where they've worked over their food. Kind of dig around there and see what we've got. I'm not seeing a whole lot of springtails or anything. Moisture seems about right. Just gonna do some flipping around and see if I see any food. Let's see, oh look, avocado shell, compostable bins, bin bags. You know what I mean. So I think this one, I think is pretty good. It's all the way through it seems to be very well done over. There's a good population of worms in here and I really do think that this this is ready to start finishing up. I'll have to look back and see when I started this one. I don't think it was awfully long ago. Maybe four or five months. But I'm not seeing any food other than avocado peels and avocado shells. What do we have here? Oh, this is what happens to the avocado pit if they don't decide to grow me a tree. And that appears to be the only worm ball I'm going to get on this level. And isn't that adorable? A worm ball in an avocado pit. Adorable little blue worm. Hello. So I'm going to give this middle part a flip and see if there's any food in here. I'm not seeing it. Tape. Take that out. That is a cork. If you watch the AV channel, I think the corks that he's had, he's finally given up and put them in his outside bin. I don't know how long they've they've been around, but I'd say at least a year that I can remember. So we have a good long time to wait for that cork to run down to nothing. All right, well, I'm going to say that this bin, if it was fed, it, it's gone on this level anyway. So I'm going to pick this level up and move it, and we'll look at the level underneath. All right, here we are, level number two. Uh, this level has holes in the side. I don't know if you can see here. Uh, just like a sixteenth of an inch holes and then there are holes on the bottom of this that are about a sixteenth. So let's have a look and see what we got in here. Nice and fluffy. Look at that. That's really nice stuff. I think this continues my my thoughts that this bin this bin is done. It's ready to start getting dried out to harvest. And then we can start it up again. I don't see any food in here. Compostable bag. Grab this and expose the bottom layer. All right, here we go. This is supposed to be something of a sump. If you've watched my videos before, you know that's usually that's what it started out as when I first made this DIY system. 
was this bottom part was supposed to be any liquid that dribbled from the upper layers could be down here and then I could dispose of it. But what I found was that the worms actually like hanging out down here. And unfortunately, when it was just a sump, they would drown and die, which I was not a fan of. So I decided if you can't beat them, join them. And I started putting a little bit of bedding down here, just a tiny bit to make sure that they didn't drown. But as you can see, there's quite a few worms down here living happily. And this is the leaf bedding, so you can still see that there's there's leaves and leaf stems and things down here. So this level is not done, or is less done, but it has been all fluffed up and we can reassemble things. Alright, let's put layer number two back on. Okay, so for layer number two, Aside from a few big chunks of wood and whatnot, I think it is, it's probably pretty done. So not gonna, not gonna feed them, just fluff them up and reassemble it with the top layer. And then I will start doing a migration on this bin as well. Let me get layer number one on and we can start that process. Okay, layer number one is back on. And let's see, what kind of migration should I do? Should I do a horizontal migration? Should I do a baiting where I bait them out and put all the worms in a different place until we're done? I'm not sure. Most of the time I think I just wait for it to get done and then I let it dry out and I sift it. That's what I normally do with this bin. Hmm, what to do, what to do. So let, let's try the horizontal migration. I'm doing that with one of my other bins. We might as well give it a try and see if we can get any takers. So we'll just move all of this stuff over here, pile it up. And then I will just put the new food and bedding on this side. I don't think I've tried to do a horizontal migration on this bin before, so this will be a learning experience for all of us. So I'm going to put the oops, worm click, compostable bins, compostable bags over here. and we'll feed on top of that and give them some bedding. So we've got the cardboard over here. Get some food. Okay, looks like some Kaiser buns gone bad. Some melon, and then we'll put some more bedding on top of that. sure where to stop with this. Hmm. I think that's good. Just kind of make sure that meets up together and we'll see what this does. I've not tried this with this bin before but you know if you don't try you don't know. Alright guys, well if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up, and if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.